Welcome to A&M Education College of Creativity and Technology. In this video, we will learn about the history of animation. As we all know, in the 19th century, the tomatrope, the phenakistoscope, zeotrope, praxinoscope, and flip books were introduced. These were some early animation devices that produced an illusion of movement from a series of sequential drawings. But animation did not develop further until the advent of motion picture film and cinematography in the 1890s. The first animated projection was created in France by Charles Emily Renault. As we already know, Charles Emily Renault developed the praxinoscope in 1877. When Renard patented the device, he also proposed a projecting vision which he demonstrated in the 1880 and marketed in the 1882, hence inventing the projection praxinoscope. The projection praxinoscope used a magic lantern to project images from a modified praxinoscope, thus producing animated colors images upon a screen. He further developed his projection praxinoscope into the theater optic in December 1888. The theater optic produced images on a screen with the assistance of a projector and several mirrors. These images were painted on a lengthy ribbon that was attached to two spools, one that unwound the ribbon and one that wound it. Next, a subsidiary light magic lantern emitted a stationary background on the same screen where the action film was projected. On 28 October 1892, he projected the first animation in public, Power of Hero, at the Moose Gravin in Paris. His films were not photographed, they were drawn directly on the transparent strip. In 1900, more than 500,000 people had attended the screenings. Despite the success of Renault films, it took some time before animation was adapted in the film industry that came about after the introduction of cinematograph in 1895. The cinematograph was a projector, printer and a camera in one machine that allowed moving pictures to be shown successfully on a screen. It was invented by history's earliest filmmakers August and Louis Lumore in 1894. The first film that was recorded on a standard picture film and included animated sequence was the 1900 Enchanted Drawings. which was followed by the first entirely animated film, the 1906 Humorous Faces of Funny Faces by J. Stuart Blackton, who is considered the father of animation.
in Europe, the French artist Emily Cole created the first animated film using what came to be known as the traditional animation creation methods, the 1908 Fantasmagoric. Vincent McKay, the famous newspaper cartoonist best known for the creation of the Little Nemo in Slumberland comic strip, made several noteworthy experiments with animation. He gave such more detail to his hand-drawn animations than any animation previously seen in cinemas. His 1914 film Gertie the Dinosaur featured an early example of character development in hand-drawn animation. It was also the first film to combine live-action footage with animation. I give you Gertie the Dinosaur. I will speak to Gertie and she will do everything that I ask her to. Come on, Gertie. Come on out and take a pretty bow. That's a good girl. Now come on up front here. Bow to the audience, Gertie. Stop that nonsense. Let's get on with the act. Now, will you be a good girl and make your bow to the audience? Okay, okay. That's enough. Don't overdo it. Now, raise your right foot. Come on, Gertie. That's good. Now, raise your left foot. Your left foot, Gertie. Your left foot. Never mind that sea monster. Your left foot. Come on, Gertie. Now stop acting like a dim-witted dinosaur. Take it easy, Gertie. You're a bad girl. All right. Now stop that crying. Here. Here's a nice pumpkin for you. Good, huh? Now will you raise your left foot? Thank you. My, you have an appetite today. Aren't you afraid you'll spoil your figure? Well, let's get on with the act. Good. Gertie, pay attention. Oh, it's Jumbo. Now, Gertie, don't hurt Jumbo. He's just trying to be friendly. Aren't you ashamed? Well, folks, that's how dinosaurs are. Unpredictable. But she does have her gentler side. As a matter of fact, she's a student of the dance. And if the orchestra will play a tune, she'll perform for you. Right on her feet, isn't she? Oh, by the way, this is the latest dance. The dinosaur dip. Now, Gertie, you had that coming to you. Now, roll over and play dead. That's fine. Now get up. Come on, get up. Let's get on with the act. Up. Up on your feet. Hey, Gertie, look at that four-winged lizard. Did you see that? You're not in the habit of seeing things, are you? How'd you like to have a little drink, huh? Well, there's the lake. Come on, take a little drink. 
And now, ladies and gentlemen, Gertie will show you that she's not afraid of me. And take me for a ride. Mickey personally hand drew almost every one of the thousands of drawings for his film. During the 1910s, the production of animated short films, typically referred to as cartoons, became an industry of its own and cartoon shorts were produced for showing in movie theaters. The most successful producer at the time was John Randolph Bray, who along with animator Earl Hurd painted the cell animation process which dominated the animation industry for the rest of the decade. This involved animating moving objects on transparent celluloid sheets. Animators photographed the sheets over a stationary background image to generate the sequence of images. In 1915, Max Flesher applied for a patent for a technique which became known as rotoscoping. The process of using live action film recordings as a reference point to more easily create realistic animated movements. The technique was often used in the Out of the Inkwell series for John Bray Productions. The series resulted from experimental rotoscope images of David Flesher performing as a clown evolving into a character that became known as Coco the Clown. In 1990, Otto Mesmer of Pat Sullivan Studios created Felix the Cat. Felix the Cat was distributed by Paramount Studios and attracted a large audience, eventually becoming one of the most recognized cartoon characters in film history. Felix was the first cartoon to be merchandised. Mm -hmm. 